Okay, so this is gonna be a video on how to design a built-in cabinet, kitchen cabinet online. Um, and so we're going to be building this uh, large built-in. So this was a, a built-in cabinet we had in our house. Uh, it's since been destroyed by a tornado a few years ago and uh, we didn't replace it. Uh, but these are the free plans. Uh, you can get these in my blog, ourhomefromscratch.com. You'll find a link to there under the plan section. Uh, and these are for very specific dimensions for that cabinet, but there's a cut, there's a parts list, there's a cut sheet and all that stuff on here. So if you like that, you can just go download that if you want, but if you wanted to make dimensional changes or if you're just interested in seeing how to do, to design a cabinet, uh, I'm going to show you how to do that in this video. So we're going to be using a free tool called cabinetplans.io and we're going to design it there. So we're going to start a new cabinet project. We're going to call this large built-in so hopefully I can spell, okay. And now we're going to select the project settings. So it's gonna have face frame. So I'm gonna do default face frame uh, minimum settings. Um, you can build your own project settings if you want, um, but we're just gonna call, we'll call this the upper cabinet. So this built-in has, if I look at this, it's got an upper section and a lower section. Um, these are two separate cabinets put together and you can imagine this is the upper part here, this built-in wall cabinet. So I'm gonna select that and it's gonna be this, right? These are the other kitchen cabinet options you can build or built-in cabinets, you can customize all these. So we're gonna click this thing. All right, so if I look at my plans, I know my width is 40 inches wide. The height for the upper part is 59 inches. The cabinet depth is, for the top part is 12. All right, and so we're going to uh, I'll put it together using grooves. The upper part I think had three shelves. Um, I'm going to exclude about, I'm not going to include a backboard in this one. I'm going to skip that. And it doesn't have any decorative panels. Uh, and we will exclude the bottom. Otherwise the bottom would be included. So the bottom's not shown here, but you could build it with a bottom. Uh, so we're going to exclude that component. The material is going to be white birch. It's going to be three quarter inch thick plywood. And I'm going to put it together using grooves. Um, for this cabinet, this one is how are you connecting the front, the face frame to the cabinet. I'm going to select pocket screws for that. Face frame material is going to be poplar. The styles, I'm going to go one and a half here. The top rail, I think it, it's exposed to, it looks like about two inches. So I'm going to select that. Okay. Save this cabinet. All right. It's going to go ahead and build that for us. And we got our parts list. So instantly, instantly we got this, right? So this is what our cabinet's going to look like from a two-dimensional view. Here's our parts list. All right, let's go build the bottom part, All right? So we're going to add a new cabinet. It is going to be a base cabinet, um, no toe kick. So since these are the difference between the, the built-in cabinets here, and like the kitchen cabinets is the kitchen cabinets are pre-configured to standard kitchen requirements, right? So it's going to include a toe kick. Since this one has a baseboard, we're going to just click ba uh, built-in base cabinet. Now, if you recall from that photo, uh, this guy here, I'll just show you what that looks like. It's just two doors. There's no drawers. And so that's this cabin, built-in cabinet base, two doors, no doors. So I'm gonna select this. Okay, again, the width here is 48 inches. The height is 35 and the depth is 18. Okay, uh, again, we're gonna do uh, pocket screws to connect the front to the, to the frame. There's gonna be one shelf inside it, which you're not gonna see. Okay, include backboard, no. Has baseboard molding, yes. We're gonna do three and a quarter inches. I think that's what that was in that image, but you could do something, you know, five and a quarter or whatever you wanted to do. I think it's three and a half actually. Uh, panel right, panel left, no, no toe kick, some of that stuff. So uh, we'll do white birch, we'll do three quarter inch. We're gonna put it together using grooves. The doors are gonna be inset in that photo. Uh, and the width, I'm just gonna say two inches for the door uh, rails and styles. All right, so there's our door height using that math so far. That's going to change because we're going to uh, select our face, face frame. So we'll do one and a half inches for the style. The top rail, I'm going to do two. The exposed bottom rail will be two. All right, so our door is going to be 27 and a half inches. We're not adding a divider, I don't think, right? Oh, it does have a divider. Okay, so we'll add a divider. Okay, and I think that's it. There's no B to face frame or anything like that. So we're going to hit save. It says I missed a field. What did I miss? Oh, I didn't name it. We're going to call this the bottom cabinet. All right. Now we're going to hit save cabinet. Okay. So it's going to do the same thing. It's going to uh, spec out the parts and build our cabinet. So it could take a minute to build all the components. So I'm going to pause here.
Okay, we resumed. Um, our part list, parts list has been built. If there's a bunch of components, it could take you know 30 seconds or something like that. But that's what our bottom cabinet looks like. All right, uh, there's the hardware we need. There's our hinges. So now what? So how do how do we want to look? How do we want to see how this is going to look when it's done? Right. So what we're going to do is we're in our project view here. These are the two cabinets we've added up in the upper right hand corner. We're going to click this little button link here that says 2D drawings. All right. And so this is the wall we're looking at. Um, since this is just going in the center of a wall, I don't really care um, how big the wall is for this case, but I'm going to sit center. So we're going to center this. Uh, it's pre-configured to uh, like 10 feet and an, an eight foot ceiling. Um, and then if you're, it's set to 18 inches for the distance between the, the top of the bottom cabinet and the bottom of the top cabinet. Um, so let's go ahead and add our base cabinet. And so it's going to pull in the one cabinet we added. Let's go ahead and add a countertop. We're going to make that one and a half inches thick. Great. And now we're going to add our upper. And that upper should just be sitting on there. It's not. So let's make this zero. Apply changes. It should sink down. There it is. Cool. All right. All right. So that's what our cabinet would look like. So now if I wanted to go make changes to these dimensions on any of these cabinets, I can see what it looks like. Uh, a couple of things if I wanted to say, like I have nine foot ceilings, let's make the wall height 108 inches. I'll hit apply changes. Now we have some more room up there. And if I wanted to, I can add uh, crown molding. All right, let's see how that looks. Cool, looks pretty good. All right, so, um, what I would do next is I would just save this, right? And I could, if I wanted to, I could download this as a PNG to sh share with my spouse, uh, a client, whoever I, I think, you know, needs to see this. Uh, the other thing I could do, I go back to project and I could generate cut sheets. And so that's going to um, do a little background job. It's going to make a PDF and I'm going to get an email when the cut sheets for this are ready. So I hope this is helpful. I hope it shows you how to um, build a design, a built-in using cabinetplans.io. Um, yeah, thanks.